says, I am in the process of converting our in-house email server to an exchange online, Office 365, and could use some help. I have an end user that has three mailboxes, only three, only. Uh, at different domains. How do I go about migrating their email over for each of their different accounts and give them access to be able to manage each account individually without having to pay for extra licenses? Why do they have three and can that be consolidated? Would Is this that we've these, always done it that way? And where are these two domains? Are they on the in-house server? Which would kind of bring up, why are you doing this in the first place? Well, if they're on external servers, there really isn't an issue. You can add those to the client. I thought we decided we were not going to judge people on the decisions they make. We were just mm -hmm. going to help them. <laughs> just asking questions. No, we 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 never made Needs that. Needs more info. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not a, an exchange person, but the first thing that comes to mind when I hear the question is, are we talking about three separate email accounts or three aliases that re reflect different domains? Good that point. I can understand. Good point. So yeah. how would you answer it? knowing that it might be aliases, Hal and Joy and whoever else might know Exchange? Never if they're that aliases, thing. there really isn't anything to do because an alias is a <clears throat> secondary reference to an existing mailbox. You can have, I have one, ale, one, one, one mailbox right now that I've got an alias with. I can log into the mailbox with either, with either, uh, with either username. Yeah, it's, it's, just but, it's but it's question. one mailbox, not more. So, so just yeah, that was going to be my question. How do, you, account. Yeah, how do you send it out? Can you send it out as either email? Because I don't know Exchange. So is it, if it's an alias, you can pick the send from yeah. the email. Okay. Yes. But then there's really nothing to manage in that scenario, right? It's all one thing. So the question leads me to yeah. presume that it is technically three separate accounts which is not a problem in with outlook anyway you can like i i think we all have multiple accounts mm -hmm. that are logged Indeed. into yeah. a single account so i can manage all those things it's the last part of this question so whether it's three aliases on one domain which doesn't sound like what he's saying i think he's no three different emails yep. you know three different uh, you know uh, tenants that he has access into which again all of us on this call we all have that um the last part um without having to pay for extra licenses you you pay for the license well i guess it's a mailbox you pay for the license for outlook right? and i just like you you probably have multiple accounts that come into your outlook yep. but you have to have the the license for the mailbox so yep who controls those domains Exactly. Is it is it a subdomain that they have bought, like the company has been acquired and now, you know, ABC company bought XYZ company and now you can create that as a, Alias. use that as a, a registered domain in your tenant? I don't know. So yeah, you can use it as an alias. I think this goes back to our initial question of why, like what is the purpose? Because at the end of the day, if they have three separate, like other emails that they're using out somewhere else, maybe those would make good groups. That's a lot of times at the end of the day, they're using an email for the wrong reason. So they've got an email set up to like get information from somebody, which maybe that's a good SharePoint site. Maybe you need to use OneDrive for that instead. Maybe they're using it to communicate, in which case could you switch that to just simply a new group, which would have a group inbox. And then you just basically put people on that group inbox, take them on and off as they need it. If it's a subdomain, if it's something else, you could just simply add a new al alias and let them use it that way. And there's a lot of simple solutions to this. The big question is, what are they doing now and what is the purpose? Because that could ultimately give you different reasons to do different things. Yeah. And shared mailboxes don't require a license either. You can no, use a shared mailbox, but, but you depending have Depending on where it's coming from. Like, so I have my, my collab talk, I've got my Rencore, I've got my Techie Gurus, I've got my Gmail. Well, all of those feed into Outlook. And so I'm able to go into one version of Outlook and I'm able to do that. If I'm receiving email, I can filter the view on that. If I'm sending out, I can change which one account it's coming from. So there's that part of it. But 
like I'm, I have my MVP account, my collab talk account, which I'm paying for individually company paid the other one. And then another company is paying for those. So there's payments being made. So that, I mean, that's how I interpreted this. If I'm paying for those other domains and it goes back to the why question, but if, you know, so you, you know, there, there's a cost with having a domain, managing the domain. Uh, and so you, you can't get out of doing that, but you can manage all of that from a single Outlook instance. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Exactly. In, in the migration scenario, are you able to have some users on the on-prem exchange and others in the online with the same domain? So you can have that hybrid experience. Is that something that's possible? I believe so because I've got a client that has multiple domains and I I know they have some in the on-prem. I know they have some in the online. I, I'm pretty sure that they've got them using both domains. But right. I, I wouldn't like, don't quote me on it, but I think that's okay. That That's one area that I would say, look, you know, in the cloud world, email has the longest life of being cloud mm -hmm. yes. and is the most stable and secure of any cloud instance of any product or service that's out there um i i would again for for organizations that have not because it's usually the first place when companies were starting to move to the cloud the mm -hmm. first thing mm -hmm. they would do is move to email it's just the it's the hardiest of the yes. solutions that are out there Thank um, you, Christian, for that. You've got mail in my head from the original. You've, you've got, got mail, mail from AOL. <laughs> I didn't need that in my Remember when today. we used to wait for that? Like we'd sit and wait for it? Yes. <laughs> now we get one more email. It's like, oh. It's like, no more well, mail. About the, the tactile experience, hearing the shoo, uh, that it went yes. out. Like, if you don't hear it, you're like, wait, did that just send? Did it send? Did it go? 